Now in this video, I wanted to talk about capacitors again. I know I talked about capacitors in the pre previous video, but um, the capacitor is very important when we're dealing with single phase motors. We know that on a single phase motor, we're gonna have to have, we're gonna have three connections on it. We're gonna have one here, another one here, and let's say another one like this. So on this one here, we have one, two, three. Typically, we're gonna have a winding here, and then there's gonna be another winding right there like that. Now on this one, yeah, we see that this one has more windings on it. Because of that, this is gonna be our start winding. This will be our run winding. And this is common to both the run and the start. Because it's common to both, we call that your common connection. I think in the past we also said that we're going to have power coming in and that's going to go to common like this. Power's coming in here is going to go to the run winding. The most important thing I want you to remember though is that the same line that feeds the run winding is going to feed the capacitor like this. So here we have our run capacitor like that. And the capacitor basically is going to look like this. So you have a connection that goes here, connection that goes there. That is just the symbol for your capacitor. Okay, so on this, what I wanted to talk about basically was the type of capacitors that are round like this, and they happen to have one, two, three connections like this. Typically, this one is gonna have a C on it, or it's gonna say common. This one here might say, let's say, Herm. And this one here will probably say fan on it. So what happens with this is basically is two capacitors in one. We have two capacitors. So in here, we've got the capacitor like this, and this might say something like five plus 35 UF. Well, that's five plus 35 microfarads. That's not really a U, that's supposed to be an M, M. But they've just gotten used to putting a U in there and that's for microfarads. This is telling me that inside here, we're gonna have a capacitor like this that's gonna come and feed this. Then we're gonna have a capacitor here that's gonna come and feed this one like this. So we have this one here that's going to be five, and this one here is going to be, like we said before, 35 microfarads like this. So now, that's where the five and the 35 microfarads come into play. If you get to the job site, if you get to the job site, and let's say one of these is bad, let's say the five microfarads, that side is bad because you took your capacitor tester and you test it from common to fan and let's say you've got one or let's say you've got open there's nothing there well that tells me that this capacitor right here is bad or this side of it is bad this one is good but that side of it is bad so now you have a choice you have several choices here one would be to go and see if you have one of these in your truck at 35 plus 5 and also check the voltage. Let's say the voltage happens to be 370 VAC volts alternating current. Or, if you, so in other words, you check it to see if you have a 5 plus 35 microfarad capacitor. Or you can see if you have a 5 microfarad capacitor only. Or if you have a 35 plus a 5 microfarad capacitor. So with this, you're gonna have this choice that you're gonna to have to make. What, how can you get this air conditioner to work? So let's take a look at this now. What are we gonna do? The easiest way to do would be to, and now our choice or is to this line that's feeding the common right here, that line that's feeding the common, we can split this up and run it to a capacitor like this. Let's say, for example, this could be my, in this case, 35 microfarad capacitor. So this would be going to the hermetic compressor. 
like this set here, Herm Hermetic Compressor. And then the same one here, we're going to go to the other capacitor here. And this one it will be our 5 microfarad capacitor. And then this one will be going to our fan right there. So now these, this is one choice that we have. So the same line up here that's feeding the two capacitors that are inside of this capacitor, we're going to take that line, split it up, and feed the two capacitors right here. Then this one, the 5 microfarad will go to the fan, and then the 35 will go to the compressor, or where it used to say, Herm, like this. The other choice that you could have, and I'm not too crazy about this one, but it'll work, is if we have, let's say, a 5 microfarad capacitor, you can put a jumper between here to here, and the wire that was hooked up to the fan, we're going to run up here to the fan like this. So now we're still using this one, but now we're not, this, since this side is bad, we're just replacing it with a brand new capacitor like this. And this should work. Like I said, I'm not too crazy about this. The best thing to do would be to replace it with a 35 plus 5 microfarad capacitor, 370 VAC. Replace it just like it used to be. If you don't have that or you cannot get it, they have to have air conditioning right away, then you can do this. Just add a 5 microfarad right there and that'll get it to work. If you don't if you happen to have a 35 and a 5, then you would do this. So replacing the entire thing would be my first choice. Or replacing it like this with two capacitors, that would be my next choice. The last choice would be just replacing this one like this. But remember, always discharge the capacitors. Whether they have been sitting there or not, whether they've been hooked up to the unit, always turn power off, discharge the capacitors, and then you can remove the wires from the capacitor. If you don't discharge them, there's a good possibility that that capacitor will have voltage on it. When you reach in there, you touch it, it's going to go through you and to ground. So remember safety. Got to be safe out there. So hopefully this explains about the capacitors that have the three connection. The common, the herm, and the fan. Common because that's feeding the two capacitors that are inside. Herm because that goes to the hermetic compressor, and then fan because that goes to the condenser fan motor. Hopefully this helped. Again, my name is Julio, Aircon Academy. Please visit my website. Follow me on uh, Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you have any suggestions, please send them to me, and I'll try to get those videos online for you. All right, thank you.